Ah, fond memories. Careful. I don't think they like you very much here. Traitor! We got a live one, boys! Hit the dirt! Didn't make a racket. Struggle, you'll hurt your neck. Attention, all personnel. The Merry Band players will be performing their brilliant play, Happy Hamlet, at 8 p.m. in the mess hall. All are invited. Don't worry, in Happy Hamlet, no one dies. Attention all personnel. Patrols should be particularly careful in the forest. More than the usual number of plague victims have been spotted there recently. Donald! Ollie? What possessed you to come here? Here. I can smuggle you out of trouble. Just get him a car. I have to take the lads at the bridge their supper. I'm afraid I'm on my way in, not out. But I might take you up on your offer later. I suppose the lads will just have to wait a wee longer for their supper then. What if they never come back? Attention all personnel, 
The Merry Band players are looking for a replacement for the role of Kate in The Taming of the Shrew. If you are theatrically inclined, please talk to Sergeant Owen Castle when he's not on the bridge. Righto, sir. Day, sir. <laughs> Jerry's in the house. Smoke him out. He can't have got far. Where the hell's Cheeseman? Probably having a wank in the bushes. Ollie! Sorry. He's probably in the latrine. Or that. He's not going to let you in. You'll need his key. I can be quite charming when it suits me. <laughs> I bet he's still angry with you. It's been six years. Is he still deaf in one ear? personnel, the Merry Band players will be performing their brilliant play, Happy Hamlet, at 8pm in the mess hall. All are invited. Don't worry, in Happy Hamlet, no one dies. Fresh socks. That is Attention all personnel. Any soldier interested in planning next year's Victory Garden should talk to Corporal Elstree at mess. It's supposed to itch. Trust me, I learned from the best. Well, I it was funny. You may have a wee headache later. Okay. 
extension open personnel to allow time to repair the mannequin, bayonet practice has been rescheduled for 0900 hours tomorrow morning. The tanks were fake! The German tanks in the camp, paper mashy! Don't take that tone with me, Sergeant. I'll call the lads. They must have sent the real ones home after they took the town. Yes, yes, I don't need a bloody ghost of Christmas past. Before the train, tell him. In 1946, before they took the children. I know when they took the children, Ollie. We could have risen up. We could have saved them. I could have saved my daughter. Really? <laughs> would the good townsfolk of Wellington Wells have followed me into the machine guns? Or would they all have hidden in their basements? But after the war, you can't keep a secret like that, sir. Ollie, the safest secret in the world is a secret no one wants to hear. Why didn't you tell me? Oh, Ollie, don't you recall? You used to have such a good memory. You typed all my correspondence. When they requisitioned the newspaper and the glue, they needed quite a lot. You knew? There's holes in my memory. Like a church made of cheese and all the congregation is mice. They have to know the truth, sir. We have to tell them. The truth has too terrible a cost. Isn't that the decision we all made? Anyway, I'm out here in the Victory Memorial Camp. You don't think I'm the one who decides these things, do you? Who's minding the bloody store, then? The Executive Committee in City Hall. Why don't you drop by for a chat? I'm sure they'd happily listen to the ravings of a mad Scotsman from the Garden District. They'd listen to you, sir. <laughs> They'd tear me apart like starved jackals, and then they'd pop a joy. I think you should visit Sally Boyle. I don't want to forget. Really? Because we had this exact conversation a year ago. What? Oh. oh, Margaret. I'm sorry. Margaret. Margaret! Well, an apology makes it all better doesn't it? I'll ask Miss Bing. You will not. She'll help me. I'm calling the lads. You better get out of here. How? The cook, obviously. Right, right, right. Donald, ready to go? I might have overstayed my welcome a bit, eh? Hoping. Do you remember my meat pounder that I lent you two years ago? And you lost it smashing some televisions. That's quite an obsession of yours, isn't it? I can't stand Uncle Jack's stupid face. Damn collaborator. Traitor. No. You bought half a bottle of whiskey in recompense, but whiskey's, let's say, two bob. Five, quiet. You want them to hear you. Two plus half of two makes only three. Seems to me you owe me at least three and a half bottles of whiskey to even up accounts. Open up. I'm off to feed the lads on the bridge. You're not hiding all these starkey in that cart, are ya? I don't think it fit. <laughs> not unless I cut him apart the joints and boiled him a bit. <laughs> Just move along, if you don't mind. Highway robbery! 
I make it a total of eight and a half bottles of whiskey. You or me. Fine. I'll get them for you next week. I'm so glad we had this wee chat. Crap. All off. Cart's broken down. They don't engineer like they do up in Scotland. I'm going to have to go back for parts. Do not steal the bridge boys' dinner, or I shall be cross with you. I'd never do that to you. I'd do it to the bridge boys, but not to you. Don't make me regret helping you, Ollie. Not again. And come back next week with my eight and a half bottles. Don't even think about taking anything, Ollie. You've got few enough friends as it is. Oh, I knew about the tanks. Everybody's got to know. They've got to know. If the General will help, I'll go to Waterloo House and talk to Miss Bing. People listen to her. It's supposed to itch. But there are some elements of the body, and though you might feel perfectly no happy, you enemy. might be having trouble yeah. keeping your food down. And you might be having trouble keeping your food What's got into you, laddie? I used to be the fastest, you know. Then I wanted to be even faster. I got a recipe for it. Don't ask me from whom. Then they took it from me. And you know what? I can't run, even like I used to. It was a crutch. I can see how it'd be hard to run with a crutch. Uh, it's not funny. It's not funny at all. Will you run for a bit with me? Till I get the hang of it. At least I can outrun you. I mean, look at you. You're not going anywhere fast. And I'll get my confidence back. Thanks for the flattery, laddie. It's getting late, Ollie. Hi, 
hide! Hide! They'll hurt us! He's got honey! Next time you see those lads, why don't you just run away? Run away? Oh, yes, I could have done that. I should have done that, shouldn't I? Instead of hiding. You've helped me. I've been running around watching people bury things. I've marked it all down. Take this map. You deserve it. It's gonna be all right once the pain's gone away. Stay out of the fog. Right. And don't come back! Boy! Run away at I! Gave me, and I did eat. Things fall apart. Center cannot hold, and everywhere the ceremony of innocence is drowned. <laughs> Where's the paradox? I'm not a brother's keeper. Did it, did it? 
New doll? This is Hildegard. German? No, she's Swiss. And she's married to Philippe. Oh, she's taken. That's too bad. She's quite lovely. Why aren't you married? Oh, that's a hell of a question. Uh, all right. Um, <clears throat> there was a girl. Oh, she had a mouth on her. If you crossed her, she'd tell you things that made your hair fall out. It's why I'm bald, you see. Oh, why didn't you marry her? Because I was poor. Because I was stupid. And then because I was too late. She took the last boat to Canada. Sometimes you feel life is a never-ending series of choices, but then most of them bring you back to the same place. There's few enough choices that matter. Try not to fuck those up. Ollie! Pardon my French. Oh, time to hit the scratcher. It's all falling apart. The center cannot hold. Ah, could be worse. Pain doesn't make you brave. It doesn't make you anything. walks by himself. I wish I'd died in the bombings. Effects.
hands never be clean. Maybe we should just go home and stay there. It's a dangerous business. You step onto the tracks and if you don't keep your feet, there's no knowing whether you might be swept off to. How the hell does all this work? So that's not how you do it. I think you should stick to what you know. Someone. It's Sunday. Nobody goes to work on Sunday. It's Monday. Uh. They're going to know it was you. You told everyone in the Duke's arms you were going to do it. What were you thinking? What did you think, lass? I was thinking I won't have to see Uncle Jack's stupid face everywhere. I'll just put up another antenna. You're right. Oh, you're always right. I think you better get out of town. And where do you expect me to live then? In the Garden District. They don't have televisions there, do they? 